I'm Rosie Hardy here at Hardy's Cottage Garden Plants. Thank you for joining us today. It's been about three months since we last did a Q&A. We've gone over all the questions that people have put onto our channel and we just are rounding them all up and going to answer them today for you. Let's get started with people's questions. Number one, I have a geranium foam samobore and another unnamed one. I assume that I can cut them back like geranium foam album for a second flush of flowers. This is absolutely correct. So when the plants have actually finished flowering, starting to look a little bit untidy, you can cut off all of the flower and you can take off some of the old tired leaf down to new fresh leaf at the base. Once you have done this, they will give a second flush of flower. Never as good as the first flush, but it's certainly worth doing because you get really healthy looking leaf and it fills up the gaps in the border. Question two, reference to salvias. You do pruning in two stages, one half way first, then you wait until the shoots come from the bottom and then scale back down to the bottom. Yes, this is correct. So the cutting the plant back down to half height, this is on the shrubby salvias, not the herbaceous salvias, I have to state. So on the shrubby salvias, you are cutting them back down to half height in the autumn. And then in the spring, when you see the lovely new shoots coming at the base, you then take all of that old wood back down to those new shoots and those new shoots will come up and you will get a really good looking plant. And then halfway through the season, if you really want to, you can give them another prune back rather than just deadheading and get fresh growth and brand new flowers. Number three, Diacea hot please, on our display at Hampton Court Flower Show. We have been asked how long does it take to get to the size it was at the show. If you haven't seen the footage, you can go back onto one of our videos, but basically Diacea hot please grows to this height and flowers beautifully. It takes it every season to do that. So it grows from below ground level up to that height every single year. It is a total herbaceous perennial and for the size of plants that we had at Hampton Court, they were two-year-old plants. Number four, I have a rose campion. Can I do Chelsea Chop to it? Rose campion is lichness, coronaria, and it's not something that you would usually do Chelsea Chop to. It is something that you would deadhead. So you get lovely foliage at the base, which is beautifully gray. Then it comes up with branches of bright crimson magenta flowers. And those, when each flower stem has finished, you want to be cutting those back and then it will send up new flowers. Number five. Is it safe to say that Aquilegia will do well in most dry, shady areas? I have black barlow and cardinal that I'd like to plant under an oak tree. Aquilegias will grow where they really want to. They like all sorts of conditions. Yes, they will grow in dry shade. If you're going to plant them out as young plants, that's the best way to do it. Or you can scatter some seed and they will come up wherever the seedlings decide is a good place to start. Number six. Can you clear up exactly what herbaceous and perennial mean? I'll start with perennial. Perennial means that a plant will grow and flower one year, two years, three years. Three years makes it perennial and then it will carry on probably four, five, up to ten years. I.e. in some cases Things like trees and shrubs are also perennial because they go on for years after year after year. But with herbaceous perennials, which is what most people know in their gardens, the herbaceous bit means they grow up with all this beautiful foliage, they expand and they make bigger plants, they put on flower stalks and they flower, and then at the end of the season, all of the growth dies and goes below ground level and basically it is hibernating for the winter period or the period when it is not growing. Then when it is ready to regrow, it comes from below ground level 
and then carries on. So that is what herbaceous means. Perennial means a plant that blooms and flowers for longer than three years. Number seven, I have a question about hydrangea cuttings. I take cuttings just below nodes, strip off the leaves for the bottom half, dip cuttings into rooting powder and put the cuttings in about two to three inches of compost. I have never had one take. What could I be doing wrong? Okay, so with a hydrangea cutting, we do do a few here on the nursery, but it is technically a shrub. But we would take soft tip cuttings. So that means when they first come up in the year, you're taking a soft tip cutting in the spring when all of the shoot that you're taking the cutting from is green, not when it is hard wood at the base. And then we would take a tip cutting on a hydrangea of about this length, um, somewhere between uh, two inches long, about that, and it would be at the base of a pair of leaves, so therefore a nodal cutting with a tip on it, and we would insert it straight into uh, rooting compost, and that would be in compost about that, and they would go in about this depth, so down in about an inch. We never use rooting hormone here on the nursery. We just take fresh, turgid, nice, young fresh cuttings and put them in and then put them under a mist unit to keep them going. Right, number eight. Does pinching out also apply to sweet pea earlier in the season? With sweet peas they tend to be something that goes up quite leggy. Yes, if you're very quick and they haven't got too long you can pinch them out. But most of the time people don't, they allow them to keep on growing and plant more together so that you get a bushy growing a lot of plants. Last question, why do you not advise putting the plants when they are plug plants straight out into the soil in the UK and similar climates? The reason is that the plug plants are quite small and the majority of people are getting them quite early in the spring the soil temperature is far too cold and probably too wet for those little plugs to go out into the ground. I advise put, potting them up because our soil temperature is cooler and because a lot of people are getting, either buying through the post or growing themselves plug plants and they're doing it in March and April. And our soil temperatures in this country and our light levels are not good enough for a small young plant like that to go out. Maybe later in the year, yes, you can do it, but not at this time of the year. And there are countries such as Australia and parts of America and South America where you will get away with it, but not here in the UK. So I, my advice is pot them up into a nine centimeter plant, get them well rooted down, well established, and put them out into the ground, probably the beginning of May, and then all the frosts have gone as well. And please do remember, do look at the seasons don't go by months and days of the year because our seasonality is different from year to year. So you are looking at a warmer soil, not too wet, and you're looking at good light levels, i.e. quite a lot of sunshine, not overcast all the time and not frosty, especially for young plants. Next, we're going to do a demonstration of staking taller perennials. This was requested by somebody in the comments. Here we have one large helianthus, which in the garden grows up to being quite a tall plant. Now, some of the pieces are bending over. Now, I know this plant is in a container, but even in containers sometimes, you have to control the plants. My favorite way of actually helping a plant to stay upright is to use something like old bamboos. You don't have to use bamboos, you can use any sort of stake, hazels, willow, that sort of thing are always really, really useful. And if they're in a container or even if they're in the ground, you just push the canes right into the actual base of the plant. And when it's in a container, you're going down the side don't worry, you will find that it will be a lot easier once you get started 
and also don't worry about whether you're damaging the root it won't cause any harm to the plant i like to use an odd number of canes just because it's easier and once the canes are all in you've even already started to make it look as though the plant is being supported by those canes now we get the string and i like to use jute string it's going to biodegrade in the garden so it's not a problem and you just put this down over one of your canes like so and then you just carry on around and make a nice framework gathering in the branches or the bits of stem as you go and you keep it all at quite a nice level tightness right the way around through and you keep on going around haven't quite got to the end yet and then when you get to the end you can either cut the string and start again at another um, with another piece of string at a slightly higher point or you can tie it off at this point um, and I think actually to be honest it's easier to tie it off and start again at a higher point so we're going to do another layer slightly higher up and that is quite easy so you just go at that point there and you just as I say keep on going around the plant and once you have got it up to a height that you want to or the height that the plant has got to at the moment then you know it means that your plant is held really nicely and it is tidy and apart from anything else you'll be able to get around underneath it and get to the base of it if you need to water it and it just means that the plant is a lot healthier and you don't snap any of its growing points so there we go we're just going to tie that off at this point so there we go one plant nicely tied up all good and healthy and strong that should be perfectly okay if you're in a really really windy situation you can perhaps do slightly higher stakes and put another one at the top there and if you really want to and you don't want it to look a little bit trussed you can make those canes come out in more of a v shape uh, than i have got them there on this thing you can also use these metal supports like this you see if you put those in and into the ground you're actually only supporting the plant to this height which means a plant of this height all of that isn't getting supported so you really need some longer forms of this style of, of support which actually are up here and what you could do in the year is you have two sizes so you start with your lower supports the plant goes up and as it gets taller and taller so you put another one there or if you're going to use things like hazel or willow then you can just weave them and make them bigger and then they look much more natural in your garden thank you very much for watching and please do subscribe to the channel